Patriot victories at Trenton and Princeton stung the British, but they were still confident of success. British officers worked out a detailed plan for 1777, which they believed would lead them to victory. What did this plan entail? The plan involved three separate British armies and perfect timing. Johnny Burgoyne would lead 8,000 troops from Canada, while a separate force under Barry St. Ledger would move east from Ontario. The third group, General Howe's main army, would move north from New York City. The three British armies would converge at Albany, cut off New England from the other colonies, and destroy the Patriot Army. From the outset, the British plan began to unravel. Howe never committed to the plan, focusing instead on capturing the Patriot capital of Philadelphia, which he did in September of 1777. Rather than moving north to join Burgoyne, Howe camped his army in Philadelphia for the winter. The second British force, under Barry St. Ledger, was turned back by Patriot forces under the command of Benedict Arnold. This left Burgoyne's army plodding along through the dense New York forest all alone. He managed to recapture Fort Ticonderoga, but trouble soon followed. Loaded down with 30 extra wagons to support his lavish lifestyle, his army moved at a lagging pace. His soldiers, in their bright red uniforms, also became an easy target for colonists who tormented his movements. In need of food and supplies, Burgoyne retreated towards Saratoga, New York. While Burgoyne sat back, awaiting the arrival of the British armies, American troops under the command of Horatio Gates and Benedict Arnold closed in around them. Realizing he was about to be trapped, Burgoyne launched a devastating attack that resulted in some of the most intense fighting of the war. While the Americans were driven back, Burgoyne's situation only worsened as colonial militia closed in behind his army, severing the supply lines. After 17 days of the two armies staring each other down, the real fighting at Saratoga began with a desperate British attempt to break through the American lines. Defying orders from General Gates, Benedict Arnold seized control and led an assault on the exposed British camp. Shouting, Victory or Death! Arnold led the Patriots forward as they crushed through the British lines, sending Burgoyne running off the battlefield with bullet holes in his hat and jacket, his horse having been shot out from beneath him. The attack led up only after Arnold lay on a stretcher, a bullet having crushed through the same leg that had been wounded in the assault on Quebec. With no other options, the British began their retreat. After marching less than eight miles in 24 hours, they found their escape route cut off by New Hampshire militia. On October 17, 1777, for the first time, an entire army of British soldiers surrendered to an American army. The Battle of Saratoga is seen as the turning point of the Revolutionary War. Thus, it is quite possibly the most important battle of the war.